And what should the average retail investor do? Will NVIDIA continue to remain the dominant force in the market just as tech bounces back? Or will we see a leadership change? For more on this, Michael Noss is chief market strategist at Trade Ideas. Michael, what do you think? You know, trends, we have to bet that trends are going to persist, right? So I'm not going to call a top on NVIDIA or anything like that. But at some point, we need to see this rotation continue. And we saw a massive spike in IWM, small caps, and pretty much the rest of the market last week. And I think that was just the beginning. You know, at Trade Ideas, we do a lot of data. We, we look at what happens when these breath surges happen. And it's generally not the top, right? You generally don't see all of the rest of the market catching up to the leaders at a point where that leader completely falls. So what happens generally is you have that leader continue higher, but then you have the rest of the market catching up. So mm. I do think we saw the start of the rotation last week, and I think it's going to continue going forward. So you see a leadership change where perhaps other parts of the market are stronger, but it doesn't necessarily mean that NVIDIA is not investable. Exactly. So a rising tide lifts all boats. So if the rest of the market is going to move higher, then NVIDIA likely will as well. It just might not be to the degree that we saw, you know, where if the S&P 500 is going to move higher, it's going to pull NVIDIA with it, as opposed to what we saw at the beginning of this year, which was kind of NVIDIA pulling everything up. So that change may be a curse. And we're basically talking a rate of change when we come to a leadership change scenario. The news we bring to you today is the kind of news that gets pulses racing on Wall Street. Meta has just unveiled its latest AI marvel, Llama 3.1, with NVIDIA's help. But this isn't just another routine tech announcement. This iteration is set to revolutionize the way AI is perceived and utilized, and it's entirely open source. Meta's audacious move puts it in direct contention with tech titans like Google, Amazon, and OpenAI. Meanwhile, NVIDIA continues its relentless march towards a semiconductor empire with the release of their innovative chip architecture, which analysts predict will boost the company's valuation to unprecedented levels. With new partnerships, upgraded forecasts, and renewed investor confidence, NVIDIA is gearing up to redefine our understanding of technological capabilities. The primary figures in these groundbreaking advancements aren't minor players. Both Mark Zuckerberg of Meta and Jensen Huang of NVIDIA are making bold moves that could reshape their respective industries. So, what's the real impact of Meta's Llama 3.1 and NVIDIA's latest ventures on the stock market? Let's dive into the buzz and see what makes these developments worth the hype. But first, if you want to keep up with NVIDIA's latest updates and keep up with the stock market's latest news, you can follow our Twitter account. We post multiple times daily about the biggest changes and catalysts in the market so click the follow button if you don't want to miss the newest market updates. Now, back to today's video. We are looking at the market open here as stocks are struggling a little bit, though basically around the flat line, potentially waiting for uh, the next catalyst for the day. Uh, this comes after the S&P closed Monday with its best day since early June. NVIDIA was one of the stocks leading the index higher. Now it is ticking lower, down just nearly two-tenths of a percent. Our next guest says, though, that the hype around names like NVIDIA could push the S&P to even bigger highs in the next year. Joining us now is Neil Shearing, Capital Economics Group Chief Economist. Neil, it's great to have you. Thanks so much for joining us here. So I know you recently changed your call on where you see the S&P heading. Talk to me about what that call change was and what inspired that change. Yeah, well, the roots of our call on the S&P go back um, several quarters, actually. We did a large piece of work at Capital Economics looking at the effects, both economic and market, of the AI revolution. Uh, the conclusion of that was that we thought it would have a positive impact on economic growth. But normally what happens during these big breakthrough technologies is that markets try to capture the benefits of that growth ahead of them actually crystallizing in the real economy. So you tend to get hype, you tend to get bubbles forming. We obviously had that in the dot-com uh, boom. And our view is, our sense is that the same thing is playing out with AI. Uh, and so there's a debate about whether or not we're in, in an AI bubble. How far does that have to inflate? If you look at history, it has a lot further to inflate. Hence, our view that the S&P 500 is going all the way to 7,000 potentially by the end of next year. Meta's recent disclosure of Llama 3.1 
has caught the attention of both tech aficionados and stock market analysts alike. Designed to outshine its predecessors, Llama 3.1 comes in three versions, with the largest model boasting an unprecedented 405 billion parameters. For those not familiar, parameters in AI models are like the neurons in a brain. The more there are, the smarter and more capable the model becomes. What makes Llama 3.1 particularly intriguing is its open source nature. Unlike other tech juggernauts, such as OpenAI and Google, that cloak their most advanced models in proprietary secrecy, Meta's decision to offer Llama 3.1 for free could be a masterstroke in talent acquisition and cost reduction. Meta's collaboration with NVIDIA, which provided thousands of H100 graphics processors for Llama training, embodies a symbiotic partnership that benefits both entities. Meta isn't banking on immediate financial returns from Llama. According to company insiders, the real payoff lies in attracting top-tier talent and lowering infrastructure costs. Zuckerberg's blog post emphasizes a different approach, aiming to let more companies provide specialized functionalities to their customers. By working with partners like Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud, and Microsoft Azure, Meta can broaden the accessibility and application of Llama 3.1 thus embedding itself into the very fabric of AI development across industries. So, what does this mean for NVIDIA and NVIDIA stock investors? Stick around to find out. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Investocracy. Boy, the defenses of NVIDIA come out. NVIDIA's been the, be, be the big worry. The stock peaked, it's come back down. Really bad chart. Well, this morning we've got Luke coming out and saying 120 goes to 175. We have uh, Reuters saying there's a new flagship AI chip that actually works in China, won't be prosecuted necessarily or pulled off by this administration. We got Piper Sandler raising price target and talking about material upside. So, you know, when you see material upside in Loop Capital, material upside and Piper, what you say to yourself is, man, are they ever trying to make this work? Blackwell sold out. I mean, all these things are just the kind of thing you get when you have analysts saying, we have to get this puppy up because this is the, the key tech name. All I come out and say is that, again, the uh, a Harris presidency is much more benign for Silicon Valley than a Trump presidency. Do you think that they really would be able to come up with a Chinese chip that Trump would approve of? Are you kidding me? But Gina Raimondo's been okay with a certain scaled-down Chinese chip. Uh, Commerce mean, Secretary. Meanwhile, you mentioned uh, Piper and Loop City, uh, positive capital. Oh, work. my city, but the big, big-time positive, like the most positive. And they are, by the way, because I've been in touch with, with, with NVIDIA, this is the fireside chat sit down with Jensen Wong and Mark Zuckerberg at a graphics conference on the 29th. Remember, I know people laugh at me on this Zuckerberg, on this the Luxottica lenses, but this thing sold out. And I know that a $5 billion investment means nothing because you're dealing with the mega caps. But you got to remember that this was incredible that Zuckerberg sits down with NVIDIA. When he, when Jensen used to say, listen, he's for combat. I'm for, he used to say, he's for combat. I come in peace. I'm in love. And he's, you know, anger, all that stuff. Well, they are together. And I think it's fantastic for both of them. But don't forget, what matters is who do you think is going to be in the White House? And at, we'll, we'll talk more about the SMH. It's been a rough few days. Ah, days. Easy come, easy go. It's up huge. Hit the opening bell in a moment. Stay with us. While Meta is churning out revolutionary AI models, NVIDIA isn't resting on its laurels. The leading chip maker is not just producing state-of-the-art processors. It's revitalizing investor sentiment with new chip architectures. The announcement of the Blackwell series has led to a surge in NVIDIA stock prices, with a plethora of analysts issuing bullish forecasts. For instance, analysts from Piper Sandler raised their price target for NVIDIA stock from $120 to $140, citing the expected success of the Blackwell architecture. Loop Capital Markets and Citigroup have joined the chorus of bullish sentiments, projecting substantial gains for NVIDIA buoyed by upcoming product launches and robust decade-long growth projections. NVIDIA's momentum is further fueled by its strategic focus on the Chinese market, a move that has already added significant value to its stock. As the U.S. weighs export restrictions on chip-making equipment to China, NVIDIA's agile market entry demonstrates its pragmatic approach and ability to navigate geopolitical complexities. To add a touch of sarcasm, one might say, if NVIDIA were a superhero, 
its power would be its resilience. Whether it's fluctuating market sentiments or geopolitical hurdles, NVIDIA manages to spring back faster than your average stock. History shows that despite multiple setbacks, NVIDIA has a consistent knack for bouncing back, armed with innovative product lines and shrewd market strategies. This new partnership with Meta proves that industry leaders still turn to NVIDIA when it comes to AI developments and solidifies NVIDIA's market leadership. The ongoing developments at Meta and NVIDIA are reverberating through the stock market. Meta's open source Llama 3.1 not only sets new benchmarks for AI capabilities, but also positions Meta as a formidable player in the AI sector. The collaboration with NVIDIA further underscores the importance of cutting-edge GPUs in advancing AI technologies. NVIDIA's current stock price reflects high market confidence, backed by expected robust demand from cloud service providers, enterprises, and sovereign entities. Reports suggest that the Blackwell series, including B100 and B200 chips, will see demand significantly outstrip supply, potentially driving NVIDIA's quarterly revenue to new heights. Data supports this optimism. Piper Sandler analysts project NVIDIA to shoot past $2 billion in sales in the upcoming quarter, which could translate into substantial stock price appreciation. The historical performance of NVIDIA post-dip serves as a strong reminder. Every downturn in NVIDIA's stock has been followed by a more vigorous upswing. So, is now the time for investors to go all in on NVIDIA stock and Meta stock? Let's find out. But first, if you made it this far into the video, thank you. These videos take a lot of effort and time to make, so if you enjoyed them, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. This goes a long way in helping us grow. That said, back to the video. John, let's start with NVIDIA. Washington's export controls have no doubt challenged the broader semiconductor sector and has resulted in fewer sales to China. CEO of NVIDIA, Jensen Wong, recently saying, quote, our business in China has substantially lower than the levels of the past, and it's a lot more competitive in China now because of the limitations on our technology. The company, though, seems to be trying to change that. And according to Reuters, working on a new AI chip that complies with the current export controls. The question for Wall Street is whether this will help improve its growth prospects in the country. Cowan analysts estimate NVIDIA will make less than 5 percent of its 2025 sales in China before restrictions, sales were anticipated to be around 20 to 25 percent. Looking at NVIDIA stock today, bouncing back at $124 a share, up about 5 percent. Piper Sandler this morning raising its price target on the stock to $140. Analysts there expecting a strong earnings report when the company reports in late August. This, as Wall Street awaits earnings from NXP Semiconductor. That stock also higher today. It feeds into the automotive market. And investors will look for a read through the electrical vehicle sector and whether demand is starting to improve in the back half of this year. Kelly. Indeed. Seema, thank you very much. The convergence of Meta's groundbreaking Llama 3.1 and NVIDIA's upcoming Blackwell chip architecture opens up compelling avenues for investors. On one hand, Meta's bold, long-term vision of open-source AI aims to build an ecosystem bereft of steep licensing barriers fostering an inclusive environment for innovation. On the other hand, NVIDIA's relentless technological advancements and strategic market entries are poised to deliver robust short-term gains and long-term growth. As of now, NVIDIA's stock is on an upswing, buoyed by analysts' upgrades and a promising lineup of product launches. With a forward-thinking approach, NVIDIA aims to capture untapped market potentials including the burgeoning Chinese tech sector. Meanwhile, Meta's strategic partnerships and continuous investment in AI place it in an advantageous position to dominate the future of artificial intelligence, despite its different business model of open source releases. In summation, whether you're drawn to the maverick AI aspirations of Meta or NVIDIA's steadfast technological dominance and financial prudence, both companies present lucrative opportunities for growth-oriented investors. It's not merely about choosing between the two, it's about recognizing the transformative impact they are making in their industries and how they stand to reshape market dynamics. What are your thoughts on Meta's unconventional open-source strategy with Llama 3.1? Do you share the market's bullish sentiment towards NVIDIA's innovative chip architectures? Share your opinions and join the conversation.
because in the stock market, everyone's insights add to the collective wisdom. If you would like to know what companies like NVIDIA and Meta have been up to these past few days, go ahead and click on the next video on your screen. See you there.